Hey people, this is Danny with Plug and Play. Today we have a tasty tutorial about eating food in After Effects. Let's do it. Jackpot. For this tutorial, we are going to want to start out in Illustrator and we're going to start off by drawing some bite marks. So in order to do that, we're going to start with our ellipse tool here. And let's start out by just drawing a small little oval. And the idea here is that we want to kind of draw a bunch of these guys and slowly uh, slowly place them around an arc so that it looks like someone's actual mouth. We don't have to be too precise here. Uh, the main goal is really actually to make sure that not every single tooth is the same as the, the previous one. We can probably move this guy in. Don't be afraid to get in there and rotate as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, next thing we want to do is select half of this mouth. What we want to do is have a couple different variations of mouse here. So I selected half of them here. And then I'm going to, while holding Option and Shift, drag them up. And that's going to make a duplication. We can then hit Command or Control G, and that will group them. And then one more time, holding Option, and then I can press up on my arrow key, and that's going to make another duplication. Hold Option again, and uh, drag or and scale it, and that will uh, inverse the scale here. Let's adjust this guy a little bit, because we don't want these two to look too similar. Maybe bring these guys over a little bit. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now that we have a couple different variations of our mouth here, uh, we're going to want to make sure that each one is on its own separate layer here. So I've already gone ahead and uh, I've created three layers. And let's go ahead and select all of these, group them. Let's do the same thing with this layer here. Great. Uh, let's put each one of these on their own separate layer. and. Once we're on uh, that group's layer, one last thing is draw a big, uh, a big ellipse that covers uh, the entire arc of the mouth here, of the, of the bite marks that we've drawn. And then we can go ahead and group these guys. And then same thing for this layer up here. Let's just double check that these are on their own separate layers here. As you can see, when I group them, they get both went to the, uh, the same layer. So let's make sure that these are both on their own separate layers here. And then we can get rid of this layer that we don't need. And then let's save it. And then we can head on over to After Effects. Once we're inside of After Effects, we can go ahead and import our uh, Illustrator file that we were working on earlier. So drag that into our project window. Make sure that import kind is set to composition. And we can hit OK. Now let's jump into this composition that it's made for us. And as you can see, I have all my different layers here on, on their own layers. So I got my plate layer, I got my donut layer, and I got my two bite marks here. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is to start eating away at our donut. So let's go ahead and let's go 10 frames forward and let's set our first bite mark, okay? So we can set it right here. Uh, let's go another 10 frames forward and we can take our um, other bite mark we can move that up here and let's rotate this a little bit. W is going to be the rotation tool in After Effects. We can go ahead and just position this guy so he looks like he's getting a, a big old bite right there. That looks pretty good. Let's go another 10 frames forward. Let's duplicate our um, first bite mark. Let's move this um, to be 10 frames forward. Move it up and then let's, uh, let's position this a little bit too. Let's get in here. Let's get let's get a big old juicy donut bite. Uh, another thing that we can do, we can uh, invert the uh, the scale of this. So if we untick the uh, the parenting button here, we go into our X position, put a negative in front of it. That's going to flip it around, and it's going to look like a whole new pair of bite marks here. And maybe we want him to get this from the back. Aha. All right, that looks pretty good. And then one more for good measure, just to finish off the, dull, the old donut. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of you like that. All right. Now we have all these different bite marks coming in, but they're green. They look like crap. And uh, what we want to do is pre-comp all of them. So let's go ahead, pre-comp them. We can call them bite marks. And then all we have to do is set the alpha layer of the donut to be this bite mark layer. Um, my bad. Alpha inverted. There she is. Okay. So looking pretty good, but there's not a whole lot of movement going on. I think the next step that we can do is add a little bit of movement every 10 frames. 
So we start out here. Um, let's set a uh, keyframe on the rotation of this donut, and then let's parent the bite marks to this donut. Let's move this back right before this first bite mark comes in. So we'll set the rotation keyframe one frame before the bite mark comes in, and then as the bite mark comes in, let's rotate him about two degrees or so. And let's go another 10 frames forward, and that's going to be right where that second bite mark comes in, and let's set another keyframe for one frame before the bite mark comes in, and then we'll go to when the bite happens, and let's move this to be about maybe positive four. Rotate a little bit more, and we can continue down this path, um, just making little tiny rotations just to give it a little bit of life as uh, as someone's eating this and it looks a little bit more stop motion I think so if that's the vibe you're going for cool if it's not then uh, you can pass over on this technique so we got a little bit more life in our animation here I thought that these rotations were a little bit much maybe like just too drastic we can go inside of our graph editor here select all of those different keyframes and then if we hit this box button this box toggle we can go ahead and shrink down um, these rotations so this just means that not every rotation is going to be as drastic right I had some that were up until like seven degrees now I've now since I'm scaling these all down proportionately I'm only going to be rotating at maximum like three degrees okay that's looking a little bit better the last thing that I'm going to do to this animation is I'm going to add some crumbs for whenever we take a bite here. And so in order to do that, let's go to the beginning of our pre-comp here, right when the first bite happens, and let's call up our uh, ellipse tool. And we're going to go in here, and we're going to draw some really tiny ellipses, some really tiny circles, and that's just going to represent some different breadcrumbs and uh, little pieces from the donut that have fallen off while we're taking our ginormous bites here. Let's even add a sprinkle here. So let's go and change this to the rounded rectangle. Try to color pick exactly what um, what the main colors are inside of the uh, the food that you're devouring. And for these different little ellipses, I'm going to change half of them to be the color of the donut. And the rest I can leave this kind of darker color. That's just to give it some variation here. Okay, great. So now if I select all of these different groups here, I can go inside of one of them. It's going to twirl down all of these, and then we can keyframe the position. I'll hit U to call up the keyframes, and as you can see, we have position keyframes on all of these different um, layers here. And then uh, let's move these about five frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. Let's set another set of keyframes here, and then we can go ahead and start animating this a little bit. So. Um, just drag these around make sure that they're all very random. There's not really a whole lot of method here So maybe that looks pretty good. Let's go to these ending keyframes here. Let's make these guys all a little bit more spread out Oops go here And then um, you know what maybe let's add some rotation to these as well, right? We just want to make these um, a little bit more lively give them as much life as possible There we go. Okay so let's go ahead and add a little bit of easing here. We can right click on these ending keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. I like to use motion. Um, that gives you a little bit more fine tuned control. And there's a bunch of plugins out there that allow you to control the influence of these, uh, of us easing here. So let's go ahead and start the layer right as the first bike mark comes on. And let's uh, bring this below the donut. So it looks like it's coming out from beneath the donut. Let's duplicate this um, layer. Let's go 10 frames forward when the next bite mark happens. Let's uh, bring this guy over here a little bit. We just want to make sure that this looks um, a lot different or different enough from the, uh, the first set of crumbs that come out here. And in order to do that, we can go inside of our different groups inside of here and maybe delete one. Um, this sprinkle, we can probably change that to be a different color. So let's grab this yellow here, cool. And then we can probably change the um, ending position of these guys as well, just to give them a little bit more flair. Maybe drag him up here, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and we can duplicate our original here, go another 10 frames forward, and then let's change this to where our next bite mark is. So that's going to be up here. 
and I can center that um, anchor point. Let's rotate this whole group around a little bit, make it look a little bit different. And then let's make sure to go ahead and delete this, um, this sprinkle one here. We don't want too many sprinkles laying around, just enough to sell the effect. And it's always this little, it's always the small things that sell these animations, right? You know, just adding these little bit of sprinkles will make it a little bit more lively. Just make it a little bit more fun too. So I'd say we're pretty good. We got our crumbs coming in. We got a little bit of rotation happening with the uh, donut as we take our bites. And we got some different sized bites in there. Thanks for watching. We're starting to put out videos like every week or so now. So if you want to stay up to date with that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Take care. This has been Danny with Plug and Play.